New numbers are out showing just how much Metro Vancouver home sales have slowed down. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now. And Haley, it looks like it's never been a better time to buy a home in Metro Vancouver. That is so true. Looking at the month of February, sales for that month fell more than 42%, the 10-year sales average for February. So a continuation of what we've seen over the last several months. Add to that, too, that we saw about 20 more, 20% 20 more new homes listed for sale February than there were at the start of the year in January. And we're seeing some pressure placed on prices, which is a good thing, again, for buyers. The benchmark composite price for residential homes in the region down about 6% year over year, dragged down by falling prices in the detached home space down about 10 percent if you look at the active sales to listings ratio it's at about 12.8 percent when it falls below 12 percent that's when the real estate board of greater vancouver says we see even more downward pressure on prices any prediction from them on what they expect going forward I think it seems to be a bit of a weakening, softening market, but in spring, that's when we might start to see some changes. Of course, there are seasonal cycles to be aware of too, but it's hard to see this continuing the way it is. At some point, prices will fall below a certain threshold, and then we might see more activity. For sure. All right, and uh, in another story today, Google is banning political ads uh, ahead of our federal election. That's right. This is in response to Canadian legislation passed in December that requires platforms like Google to keep a registry of all advertising that they list indirectly or directly tied to the election. Now, Google has said it's backing away entirely from this issue. Instead of meeting what are fairly strict transparency rules, it's going to modify its systems to prevent anyone from running any kind of political or partisan ads. The company says instead it's going to focus on directing voters and users to election-related information, but not running ads. All right, Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver on this Tuesday morning. Thanks, Haley. Thank you.